basketball you betcha i'm back it's the daily trainer once again and you know i'm coming live and direct straight from the gym ready to get this work in i hope you're ready basketball you because we really really are going to put forth the effort to get it in every single day so we got to do it and we got to do it the right way so let's get started i want to do a little bit of an experiment with you just so you can understand the importance of kind of what warming up does for you so today we're going to do what most people do when they go in the gym they just go right to that three-point line and start letting them fly. So that's what we're going to do today to start the workout. And I want you to kind of gauge this and say, okay, when I just did that, did that really help me? Okay. So we're going to go into our first three-point drill where we are shooting the progressional threes, where we're going from the corner and then we get our own rebound and we take a step to the side. We take a step to the side till we get all the way around. So I want you to do that drill one time, not going back around, I only want you to go around once. Then I want you to form shoot, okay, about 10 to 15 shots, just, you know, right under the basket. It can be on the right side, it can be on the left side, it can be in the middle, however you want to do it, okay? Then I want you to go back and then I want you to complete the drill all the way around. So now you're going to go, you're going to go around the perimeter and then go back. And so then we'll see if your percentage changes a little bit better there. Okay. So then what I would like is for you to then shoot some more threes. And so now we're going to go into our dribble up threes. Okay. So now you're going to shoot off the dribble. So now, even though you have a little bit of warm up now from the three point line, now let's see what you got with the momentum going into the shot. Okay. So we're going to throw that momentum into that dribble. And we're not going to fall forward. We're going to work on planting our feet, getting our feet set under us, and then going straight up and down. Okay. So that's what I want to see from you and starting the workout. All right. So when we're doing our dribble ups, I want to make three. Okay. But today you're not going to go left hand on the right side and right hand on the left side. You're just going to go right hand, make three, you're going to come to the middle. You will alternate on the middle and then on the left side, you're just gonna keep it on the left side and then you're gonna make three. Okay, so I hope that's clear. We're going to shoot threes to start the workout. So I know you guys are very excited about that. And then our last thing we're gonna shoot from three to um, really get you going from the perimeter is our star drill. So we're gonna do our star drill. We're gonna do that three times. You are gonna be tired from getting all those rebounds, but that's okay because we're gonna get to that free throw line and we're gonna get a rest and we're gonna get a little beverage to quench our thirst so don't worry about being tired just worry about making shots all right so we're going three times in the star drill if you make the free throw or miss the free throw it won't matter you're only going to do it three times then you're going to go to the free throw line and you're going to make those five free throws all right basketball you let's go let's make shots let's make shots let's make shots all right basketball you now we're going to get into dribbling now that we've launched our threes and got that out of our system today's dribbling we're going to work a couple different combination moves we're going to work our cross cross through the legs we're going to work our in and out cross through the legs we're also going to work our through the legs behind the back crossover and then we're also going to dribble through some cones today and work those different moves so we're going to work our double cross we're going to work our cross through the legs we're going to work our pound behind the back okay and then we're going to work our pound behind the back crossover which i like so much on that too so i talked about the other day through the legs behind the back but i also like the behind the back crossover because it just gives you that illusion because your body's low you get to drive that way and it's very hard to drive like sideways when you go behind the back so you kind of have that foot leading in the front and then when you cross over it kind of automatically gives you that step so i i really like that move so i just want to work on it going through the cone so you're moving north and south and not east and west all right so again we're going to do these drills these dribbling drills two sets 10 times on these dribbles okay and then with the cones we're going to go two times five so we're going to go two times through the cones and then with the dribbles we're going to go two times ten okay when we're just stationary 
all right so we're going to do that for dribbling and then what i want is again i want to attack so now we're going to attack from the top and we're going to have that help defender come over or not so much the help defender, but the area we're going to change speeds. So we will have our crossover. We'll have our hesitation. OK, then we'll have our crossover. Then we'll have our in and out. OK, then we'll have our through the legs cross and then we'll have a hesitation and then we'll have it through the legs cross and we'll have an in and out. OK, so we're going to work all those attacking from the top. I want you to do it five times each on both sides and in all those different variations of dribbling okay and then our last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go three level shooting and what i mean last thing is just more like of the attacking aspect and coming off the dribble we're going to go three level shooting we're going to do that three times on each side whether you make all of them or miss all of them it doesn't matter we're just going to go three times okay then I want you to shoot the free throws five times and then we're going to go right in to the last piece of conditioning. Now we're looking at getting in shape. So remember, we've got to get in shape. So we're going to work on our agility a little bit. OK, so what I want to do, I want to work our quick feet. Or we're going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Then we're stepping over the cone, stepping over the cone. We're going to do this for 20 seconds each. We're going to go three sets of each. I really want to get a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. It's going to burn. It's going to hurt. Basketball, you that's what we're here for. We're here for the pain tolerance and the aspect of getting better. So we gotta push through that. And remember it all is mental because at the end we'll feel better and it won't hurt anymore. Okay, then we're gonna work our one leg pogos over the cones. Okay, after we work our one leg pogos, we're gonna work our two leg pogos. Okay, then we're gonna work our broad jumps. Okay, we're just working here getting more athletic. Okay, everything is going to be when we do on our pogos, it's going to be two sets of 20, and then that's with each leg, and then also on the two legs, and then our broad jumps are going to be three sets of six. Okay, and then we're going to do our tuck jumps where we jump up and our knees come up to our chest. We're going to do that three times eight. Okay, so even though the cones are there, you're going to keep hopping past or you can turn around. You can do four one way and then turn around and do four the other way. So whatever you feel the need to do, then what we're going to do is we're going to run a quick 10, not a 17, because our legs are going to be a little tired from doing all that jumping. All right. And then lastly, just run a liner, one liner, try to get it done in 34 seconds and that is what is going to complete our workout today. Basketball you, you've been great once again, and I cannot believe that you keep showing up over 200 consistent days of working out. Thank you, thank you. And again, you're always welcome to go back and look at any of the workouts, combine them the way you would like to, as I provide newer content for you and newer drills each and every week for you to kind of mold your own workout so you can do what works for you because some lack in dribbling, some lack in shooting, some lack in their movement laterally, whether it's east to west or north to south. So whatever drill you see, there has to be something that you can use to help you get better. All right, basketball, you is the daily trainer and I'm out of here, but I'm not leaving you until I tell you this, someone's always working. Are you?